Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 18th. But you know what I just heard as I was turning on the camera? Money hungry people are going down. They're going, people that are so focused on money are going down. That's what I just heard as I was turning. Uh, money hungry people are going down. That's what I heard as I was turning on the camera. So what do we have? What do we have? What's coming up? What's going to happen? What is going to happen? Judgment. Judgment. It could be something to do with court. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. But judgment is a card of karma being held accountable for your actions. The end of things. Okay. A judgment. A final judgment is being made. Now are you ready to be judged? And the final judgment comes from God. Judgment is a card of absolution. Hmm. Now, someone from the other side may be guiding. Somebody from the other side may be helping. There's a need for forgiveness. Somebody is going to be assigned responsibility in the form of karma because judgment is a card of karma. There's some sort of poor logic here, sadness. We have somebody that is being unrealistic. And they've lost their personal power. And so now they're trying to overexert their power to get it back. Interesting. Anyhow, this does all, it also is around money. It's surrounding money or the home or, you know, more money. I need more money. I need more money. It's all about money. Interesting. So what's going on? The high priestess reverse. Now, the high priestess reverse is somebody that is not a very awakened. Secrets are about, somebody's been keeping secrets and the secrets are about to be revealed. This is an individual who doesn't listen to anybody. Not very feminine. The world not learning a lesson. Not being successful. So somebody is not going to have success. They have not successfully learned their lesson. This is a sneaky individual. I could be dealing with Pisces. I'm not sure. Hmm. Very frustrated. We have somebody here that is very frustrated. They feel like they are entitled. Yes, they feel like they are entitled. They definitely refuse to listen to anyone. They're flogging a dead horse. So we have somebody here that is flogging a dead horse. They're, it's like there's some sort of unfinished business here. It's over, but they won't let it end. This is somebody who isn't very spiritual, which is interesting. Hmm. Not learning from mistakes. Too much resistance. Ten of Swords. Now, Ten of Swords is painful. Being stabbed. You see, you notice there's three swords in the back. So that's that's heartache. That's grief. That's that is suffering. Suffering. Um, needing to move on, but can't move on. We have an individual that is having a hard time moving on from something. Still, you know, this is a lot of pain. In a lot of pain. Very much suffering. Somebody has reached their knees. You know? Somebody could hit their knees, even. Somebody could... I mean, when you get the world reversed, you, somebody may not be aware that this is leaving without saying goodbye. This is somebody that is growing weaker and weaker and weaker. They are still in a lot of pain. This one has cut right through the heart. So this is extremely painful. There's a heart pain or heart ache or something like that. You notice there's one sword right through the, the chest there, right through the heart. So somebody may be feeling some heart pain. 
um, or the Ten of Swords is a betrayal, right? We have somebody here that is um, fighting an uphill battle. They've been in a very troublesome situation, and they I feel like they're about ready to collapse. I really feel like they're very exhausted. Um, they're even too weak to uh, try to stop the pain. They're just letting it happen. It's like they're just waiting. It's like they're just, it feels like they're waiting, you know, to for it to end. Trying to prove something, perhaps. Five of Pentacles. Now, this is about money. Okay, because see that that that's wheels is money. So uh, somebody is suffering some financial hard times as well. They're suffering financially because this is this is suffering and feeling of in a in a financial pinch. And I know this is surrounding money. It's like there's enough. There's enough to be had. All you have to do is ask for help, or maybe you need this is like get rid of some things. You know, maybe there's some, if you need money, sell some things, you know, but it, these people, um, you know, they're all dressed in gold. So perhaps they need to, to change their way of living, you know? So I feel like that's what I hear. Okay. We have some people that are suffering financially. They're feeling a financial pinch. They're all dressed in gold and they, and they have a lot of things that are valuable. Perhaps they need to sell them, but this is like, uh, not, you know, there's a lot of, there's, the whole world is watching, right? There's a lot of social pressure, which I know there is. There's a lack of consciousness here, okay? Somebody is under a lot of worldly pressure or social pressure pressure to present themselves to be rich or be, be somebody they're not, which is another whole story. But this is um, two people that have enough okay this is there's enough to survive but wanting more that's what i feel like this is or too proud maybe to ask for help or um this is abandoned feeling abandoned you know this it looks like this guy is very very sad she doesn't look very sad you know he looks a lot sadder than she does she's probably the one that caused it just, I don't know that for sure, but that's what just came out of my mouth. Now, this is being left out in the cold, feeling alone, but, you know, there's there's options here, but, hmm. They, they, they're, they're covered in gold blankets, so they, they it's like they have enough, which is interesting. Knight of Wands reverse. Now, this is reckless behavior. This is a show-off. This is a loud troublemaker that is overly competitive. Doesn't think before they act. This could be something suddenly happening, too. This could be a sudden departure of some sort. A sudden ending that you don't see coming because this world is reversed. The world is an ending. Okay? And this is very suddenly, and this is the ten. The, the the ten of swords is an ending. Could be the death of a situation. Can't do it anymore. Can't do it anymore. Um, and this is abandonment. The five of pentacles, neglect, ghosted. There's definitely some poor health, and there's somebody is suffering some hard times. They may be feeling like a social outcast, but it feels like they did that to themselves. There's also consequences here. Perhaps nobody likes these people anymore. Nobody wants to be around them anymore. These people are really struggling. They're really struggling. And they're struggling, I think it's because they need an attitude adjustment. The world reverses an attitude adjustment is needed. So we, we definitely have a couple... That is suffering. There's a negative mindset here as well. And these people, these people or person or whoever it is, is, is are experiencing some financial burdens because of their reckless behavior, because of their actions, because they did something without thinking. Now they're suffering. We have a very secretive individual that was very being very self-centered by the looks of things. Um, 
page of, of pentacles reversed. Now this is a dead end. Foolish behavior. Lack of common sense. We have somebody here that is lacking common sense. Go figure. There's a blockage that is standing in the way of achieving a goal, of achieving success. This is There's a blockage. And it, and it has to do with... Money. I think it has to do with money, not... Somebody is living beyond their means or something like that. There's a blockage that is a, that is in the way of somebody achieving success. Uh, uh, achieving success. There's a need to focus. Somebody has not planned efficiently. There's a lack of planning here. There's no follow through. There and now they're they're they're. They, they may have overspent. Something is going on here. Five of Cups. Now this is... Um, sadness. This Five of Cups is sadness. We have somebody... Here. This is giving up. We may have somebody that is giving up with this Ten of Swords. Could be a sudden drop. They suddenly just give up. They suddenly drop out of this game. This is a drop out and this is, yeah, somebody may, this is a dropping out and this is too. Some doesn't want this responsibility anymore. Somebody may be suddenly dropping out. They see a new opportunity. There's a big opportunity. It's a very emotional time. We have somebody here that is definitely feeling sad. They've been feeling discontent. They've been feeling alone. Um... They may they may have abandoned somebody and they're and they they're having some sort of regrets or or they did something where nobody even wants to help them anymore nobody even wants to be around them and it might be a one person or it could be two people I don't know but the five of cups is deep sorrow sadness so yes there could be a sudden departure something could end you know the ten of swords could be a you know ending of some sort. It's over. It's a death. It's a goodbye. It could be a catastrophe. It's a breakdown, right? It's a, I mean, you take a look at this card. It's like a mental or physical collapse. It is. You know, so I'm not, I'm not sure what is happening, but it feels like, you know, There is going to this there's going to be something that collapses, something that falls down. And it happens very suddenly and it's going to cause, you know, some discontent. But I think that the decision because remember we saw that oh, I saw judgment, the decision is being made because there's another opportunity. You Notice that that ace of cups is huge. There's an opportunity for happiness. Somebody may be deciding to be emotionally honest with themselves or they're deciding to follow their heart. There's definitely some heartache here. This is mourning of a loss. There's been some sort of separation, some sort of abandonment. We may have somebody here that feels ashamed. They may be wallowing. You know, asking themselves, you know, what if I would have done this, if I would have done that, you know, that kind of thing. But it's like it's too late. There was some sort of reckless behavior. Somebody did something without thinking. And I feel like now there's some sort of consequences. The magician reversed. There's been an abuse of power. Now there's no resources. <laughs> there's no resources left. Somebody was definitely living outside of their means. And now they don't have any resources left. Probably no, their finances have dwindled or something. There's, no fi there's nothing left in the bank account. And it feels like now they're being deceptive. 
trying to get the trying to get money in a, a manipulative way with the magician reverse. They will do any they'll steal, lie, trick. I mean the magician reverse is a trickster. Somebody that definitely acts without thinking, that is very arrogant, very superficial, that is unbalanced, that is delusional, that is violent, that manipulates, that will do anything to get their way, even if it's against the law. Lie. Lie, 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 lie. This is a liar. So we ha be prepared for somebody that has, you know, the Knight of Wands reversed is... Uh, Somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. This is a troublemaker. A show off. That is unwilling to let go. Wants to continue to show the world that they're rich or show the world that they have this and that and all that. That they're gonna they're gonna do something very manipulative. This is master manipulator right here. And they're feeling powerless. They're feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling, you know, alone. Like, you know, everybody's abandoned them. But they brought that on themselves. So this, this world card is no goodbye. No closure. No resources. And, and it could be physical resources. This depleted. Okay. We may have somebody here that is absolutely depleted. They're depleted of energy, perhaps. There's no energy left. You know, somebody's de energy is being depleted. They may have, there could be some heart problems here. Now, this is a loss of power. It is. This is on thin ice. Somebody may be about to become homeless or something. Somebody may be trying to put somebody out in the cold. Because they don't, because they're mad, because they're upset. They have some tricks up their sleeve because they're manipulation, you know. Page of Wands. Now the Page of Wands is good news typically. Good, some sort of good news is coming. This is a new direction. Something is, is coming to fruition that was started a long time ago. This is a new adventure. There's a new opportunity here. And there is with this Ace of Cups right here. There's four cups down, one cup up. So there's a new opportunity here. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel like, you know, there somebody is giving up on something that has been killing them it's like they're they're ready for it to die right they're ready for it to die they're ready they've reached the point of collapse they've reached the point where they can't do this anymore so it's like they're ready for this new life they're ready for the new opportunity and i think they're going to get an offer this is an offer or an invite to to go someplace else which is interesting. The Page of Wands is an exciting opportunity. Six of Swords reversed. Six of Swords reversed is a very troubled situation. We have an individual that is having a hard time um, moving forward, refusing to take a new approach, refusing to consider a new approach, stuck in a troubled situation, you know, staying put. They're, they're, they're choosing to uh, be a victim. This is a victim. Five of Pentacles. This is a victim mentality. Choosing to stay in this troubled situation. And it's killing them. It is with this Ten of Swords. It's literally killing them. 
this magician reversed is, is uh, no resources to move. And maybe that's why, because they don't have the money to move. This is money, can't move, no resources. Somebody may be staying in a situation because they don't have any money to move. And they want to move, you know, they want to travel, they want to go in a new direction. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to get that money. Anyhow, there's some sort of um, trick here, because the magician reverse is a trickster. Okay, it's a trickster. It's a tricky, very tricky situation. A liar, a thief, a manipulator, a criminal. Okay, this is somebody that will act in a criminal way to get the money or the funds. And they may play themselves as a, as a victim. It's like when, it's kind of like when you go to the Five of Pentacles. This is just an example. You go to the self, social welfare office and... You know, you have all these beautiful things in your house and you beg for money. And this is begging. It is begging. The five of pentacles, but pouting right here. When you, when you have, when you can sell your stuff or you have this, these big beautiful cars or you have like the, you know, fancy lawnmower or whatnot. You have all this stuff that you could sell. You know, so that's what this is. It's like we have somebody here that, that can survive, but they don't want to get rid of their things to survive, you know? which is interesting, um, refusing to take a new approach and willing to do whatever it takes, even if it involves hurting another person, taking from another person. Um, King of Swords, the King of Swords is, is, is a decision maker, an intellectually minded individual who is very smart. We have a very smart individual here that knows what he wants. Um, very, very decisive, making a decision to go in a new direction. So we do have somebody that is making a decision to go in a new direction. They're going to be sending some information or they're going to be sending a message. They see a situation absolutely clearly that somebody has decided to uh, go in another direction. You know, the King of Swords, um, very factual. There may be some sort of uh, information that is delivered that is, is the complete facts, the truth. Um, now, this could be a new suitor for some of you. I know I'm changing the story, but the Page of Wands could be a new suitor that bursts into your life. Or this could be... Uh, something that comes in very, very suddenly, very, very fast. Okay, so something could happen very, very fast. Um, and it could be a perfect match. It could be something very, very good that leads you in a new direction. Um, this is a new, could be a new opportunity for love. It could be all of a sudden somebody uh, extends their hand and says, you know, a nice to meet you, something like that. Uh, or come with me, I, you know, whatever, something like that. Um, there is definitely a new opportunity that could, that could make somebody very happy after they have been in a very discontent, sad situation. Somebody is getting a new opportunity. They are. This is an exciting opportunity to go in another direction. I think this person is going to see the opportunity. They're going to see it very clearly and they're going to go for it. It's like, okay, I want it. I'm sick of I'm I'm sick of this painful situation. I'm sick of the abandonment. I I'm sick of begging for attention. I'm sick of being alone. I'm sick of the secrets. I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of this pain. I'm ready to go. And it's like they just make the decision to go. They just they just go. I think it's very sudden. There's a sudden departure here from holding on to a situation. This one just fell out. The fool reversed. <sighs> Impulsive. Unprepared. This is unprepared. Somebody is going to be presented with an opportunity that they are not prepared for. They have been reluctant to move on from somebody that abandoned them or ghosted them or whatever the case is. They've been choosing to be a victim of whatever circumstance they're in. 
And maybe it was they stayed in this circumstance because of money. You know, that was their excuse. I can't leave. There's money issues. You know, there's unfinished business in the financial aspect of this whole situation. But now they decide, they start to see it clearly about love because this Ace of Cups is right under it and that is clarity. Somebody starts to see the facts that it is all about love and they follow their heart and they make an impulsive decision to go down a new path, okay? That is what I see. And it's interesting because we have the two of wands on the bottom. Could be dealing with Aries, but I'm not sure. But this is uh, making a decision. It is choosing to leave the past behind, focusing on the future. I feel like um, two people are butting heads. They've been butting heads. There's been a lack of harmony. There's been a lack of balance. And... You know, it's it's time to just turn and walk away. So I feel like somebody is definitely going to be walking away. They've reached the point of being overwhelmed. Okay, they can't do this anymore. And it feels like they're about ready to drop all this baggage and go in another direction. So get prepared for that. I think this is a pretty similar message. Um, we have a secret I mean, this, the High Priestess Reverse is a secret that is about to be revealed that causes somebody to give up on a situation that they have been holding on to. And if it's not a secret, it's a revelation. It's an epiphany. It's an awakening. It's like all of a sudden they see that, that there is not going to be any closure, that there's not going to be any success in holding on, that they cannot be allow, them, allow themselves to be a victim of this situation. It hurts too much. It's too painful. So I feel like there is um, somebody is taking a, and it's funny that the fool is reversed. It feels like they're they're deciding to break free. This is deciding. This is deciding. This is a decision. This is a decision maker. They are deciding to follow their heart. And I feel like it's very quick. It's a very quick, with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands and the Fool, it's a very quick, impulsive decision. You know, it's like, boom, I'm out. This is too, this, this is, you know, there's an opportunity for love here. I want it. I'm going for it. Goodbye. And it's like they don't even say goodbye. It's kind of funny. It's like there's no goodbye. There's no goodbyes to be had. Good luck. Could be a heart attack.